A perhaps the most powerful functionality of associative arrays is the ease with which these arrays can be edited. So let's take a simple example of a, a 2D array that we had formed before, a polar one, and we'll just simply double click on the array that we formed in that prior exercise. And what we'll see immediately is that the ribbon can, context changes here, and we see all the parameters for our array, things that are familiar to us like the number of items around or swept through a certain number of degrees, we're also going to see new 3D parameters that may not be familiar to us. We'll be looking at those in the future segment, like rows and levels, and the ability to edit things like where is the, the base point, the rotational orientation of the item. So we really have quite a lot of editing functionality. We'll be looking at some of these functionalities in an upcoming segment as well. Just to get the hang of it, let's interact some with the ribbon and see how we could reorient this to have, let's say, eight of these shrubs. Notice how that changed. Swept through 360 degrees. Notice how that changes. So it becomes very easy to modify this. Again, it kind of reminds me of, of where the associative hatching has been going over the last few releases of AutoCAD. Become a lot easier to go back and edit. And the ribbon interaction was simply automatic. It was a double click action when you selected the array that had been previously formed. Now, incidentally, all these are properties of the associative array object. So you could also make editing changes here in the properties window if you want. So why don't we go back to 12 shrubs evenly spaced through 360 degrees and we'll see that that angle will be recomputed and you actually see the array changing there graphically as you make your changes. So this is just a real simple overview for a way to kind of get used to how to interact with the properties box and the new ribbons so that you can perform editing functionalities on the arrays after they've already been formed and saved in your drawing. We'll dig into a little bit more detail in some of the upcoming segments, so stay tuned.